Hey, what's up? Uh, as you can see, this is Mega Coin Squad. Uh, this is the newest game from uh, Adult Swim Games. Uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, I haven't gotten that far in it. Uh, I kind of wanted to wait until the embargo was over. Uh, this is actually a scheduled video. <laughs> they actually have an embargo on this for the 12th, and uh, I had uh, scheduled videos up to the 11th, so uh, I'm playing this a little early. Uh, but basically, it's like a really fast-paced uh, collect-a-thon game, <laughs> which is kind of a unique uh, genre. You don't really see that much these days. Uh, the collect-a-thon genre was very popular in the N64 era. You had stuff like uh, Donkey Kong 64, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, but those games are known for being pretty slow-paced, a little overwhelming with all the shit you had to collect. Uh, this is a very streamlined uh, version of that. Uh, there's pretty much only one thing to collect, or, and uh, you get an, another unlockable for getting the coins. It's pretty simple. Uh, one thing that's really ballsy about this game uh, is it has no online co-op. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, honestly. Uh, this game looks like it would be really fun, but, uh, you know, <laughs> the older you get, uh, the harder it is to get four of your gamer friends uh, in one place to play a game at the same time. Uh, but uh, I think it's pretty cool that they're, you know, sticking by it. Uh, they're not saying anything like online might be coming soon. Uh, that happens a lot with indie games. It never happens, or, you know, it does like a year later, and by then no one cares. But uh, one thing, uh, one complaint I do have is that they have multiplayer achievements. <laughs> you know, if you have a game that's, you know, barely played online and it has multiplayer achievements, you know, you can go on GameFAQs or something and uh, arrange, you know, three or four people to come on and boost you for it, you know, if you really care about your score that much. But here, uh, there is no online multiplayer, so, you know, if you're like me and you're, you live far away from your friends, you pretty much can't 100% this game. But in any case, uh, I'm going to do the first few levels here. I haven't really played with the other characters, uh, but this guy's got, like, a uh, Hadouken, so <laughs> he plays him. So basically, this looks like a generic uh, platformer at first, but uh, you actually get a really robust uh, upgrade system. Right now, uh, you have a dash, uh, you have a jump, and uh, you have like your basic melee or special attack. And uh, you can upgrade those with gems. So, uh, the gems are basically your upgrades. Uh, for each uh, gem that you get, uh, you get an upgrade. You get a little roulette, and uh, you can choose which way you want to uh, enhance your character. I don't quite know what all these mean yet, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. max coin loss. That one is a double jump. We're gonna go for that. It's always nice to have more uh, mobility options, especially in the platformer. So there's uh, all three gems, so basically uh, you have to speed run, 
you have to bank all the coins uh, in one go, um, which basically means if you get hit, you lose coins. So uh, you have to turn them all in at once, uh, and you can't get hit. So uh, the better you do with this game, uh, the better your character is. Uh, I haven't gotten to the end of the first world yet. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother doing that right now since this is blind. But uh, <laughs> it seems like uh, I don't think you get to save until you finish one world. So uh, I guess if you're really... Uh, crazy about maximizing your character, uh, ideally you would reset until you get all, all three gems on each level. I'll definitely be revisiting this game um, once I know what the hell all this stuff is. <laughs> Both dashes upgraded. Pretty uh, buff character now. <laughs> now that I actually get the hang of this game, uh, it's getting a little easier to acquire the upgrades. Alright, so that's the first world of uh, Make a Coin Squad. Uh, like I said, uh, this game's pretty fun, as you can see here. Uh, it's simple, but uh, very uh, satisfying to play. Uh, I really like the art style, the music. Uh, the gameplay's nice, fast, and fluid. Uh, it's just, it's got that one problem. Uh, it's, it's local multiplayer only, uh, and it's got achievements. So, uh, if you're an achievement whore, uh, I don't recommend getting this game unless uh, you've got uh, three buddies to play this with on a regular basis. Uh, but like I said, uh, I think it's pretty ballsy that they're sticking by uh, their initial uh, you know, vision for this game, which was local multiplayer only. Uh, I could tell the, this would probably be better enjoyed uh, with you know, actual physical friends to play it with. It's just, uh, you know, depending on your living situation like me, uh, I don't really get to enjoy that aspect of the game. But uh, overall, it's really fun. Uh, I'm probably going to be uh, playing this a lot more in the near future, probably on stream. Uh, this isn't really a primary uh, YouTube channel game, but uh, if you want to see more of this, uh, you can come by my stream. So, I will see you guys tomorrow with another scheduled video. Thanks for watching. Peace.